Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo and in this video, I'm gonna go over HomeKit adaptive lighting. HomeKit adaptive lighting is one of the few HomeKit related updates announced this year at WWDC. And while we have seen the rest of them come to fruition in iOS 14, adaptive lighting was not present in any beta nor in the final release. This is because adaptive lighting required firmware updates from the manufacturer side, meaning it wasn't just a simple software update from Apple. For those of you that need a refresher on what adaptive lighting is, smart light bulbs can often show a range of color temperatures, not colors per se, color temperatures. This is basically different variations of white, from cool blue to warm orange. The idea behind it is that when adaptive lighting is enabled, the color of your lights will follow the pattern of warm orangey colors in the morning and the evening, and cool blue during the day, assuming you keep your lights on during the day. This is supposed to be more in tune with our own circadian rhythm, lessening our exposure to blue light in the evenings and promoting even better sleep because of it. Eve was the first to roll out this feature in late October, but since it didn't have any Eve devices, I had to wait for Hue to roll it out on their end. Well, it's no surprise that Philips Hue rolled it out pretty quickly afterwards, which is now available via firmware update within the Hue app on your iOS device. Once your hardware is up to date, launch the Home app and you will be greeted by a screen that explains what HomeKit adaptive lighting is and offers to look through your devices to see which are compatible. You can select which devices you want this feature active on, not that you have to always use it, and then you can continue on to your home screen. At the moment, devices that are compatible with this are any hue light that is capable of different colors, as well as the white ambience lights. Also compatible is the aforementioned Eve light strip, and many more will follow. Simply long press on the light icon to pick the different colors, and the first choice will now be defaulted to adaptive lighting. Select it, and your light will automatically change to the appropriate color temperature based on the time of day. This is definitely a step in the right direction when it comes to furthering our smart home capabilities. But here at Tech Tech and More Tech, we're all about automations. And this can, of course, be incorporated into an automation. And any new or existing automation, you can, of course, choose the trigger, whether it be time of day or maybe even how dark it is. And you can select the lights that you want to turn on. And now you can set them to the adaptive lighting setting, ensuring for the rest of the time that the lights are on, they're going to get warmer and warmer in terms of color temperature until it's time to go to bed. One function that adaptive lighting doesn't have is the ability to adjust the color temperatures at all. I found that the late evening temperatures weren't particularly high and I wouldn't have minded my lights to go even more orange. If you lower the brightness of a light at night, you can easily see that as the brightness goes down, the color temperature goes up, aka it gets more orange. This is strange because I know that that same color can be shown at full brightness at that same light, so I'm not exactly sure what's prompting this limitation. It would be great if we got the ability to set an automation that also incorporates dimming these lights to a certain point to get the color temperature even higher. Maybe they found that in testing that it wasn't really worth it, so who knows. I would love to see if any data comes out after this that can correlate to sleep quality, since the Apple Watch can now track your sleep with watchOS 7. This may be something that only Apple will know, but it's an interesting thought nonetheless. Lastly, I do wish there was a similar feature with smart switches, or at least a native automation function that allows us to dim the lights over a period of time. As many of you know, I'm a big advocate for smart switches and smart dimmers over smart light bulbs, and having this kind of functionality would be great for a lot of smart home users like myself. So there you have it. HomeKit Adaptive Lighting is a great new feature for all of you that have your homes decked out with smart lights. Let me know what your thoughts are on adaptive lighting in the comments below. I'd love to know how many of you are planning to use it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to hit like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll get to them as best I can. And until next time, see ya.